discuss a very important topic for your exam that means your board exam okay uh, and the topic is the picking efficiency okay and what is the picking efficiency actually so when we you know arrange the constituent particles that means the atoms molecules or ions okay in you know three dimension that means the 3d picking structure then there will be always some free space okay so whatever way the constituent particles are picked actually there will be always some empty spaces or it is called, known as free spaces okay and actually the free spaces are in the form of some voids and the you know the shapes of the voids may be they may be you know tetrahedral voids or they may be octahedral voids or they may be some triangular voids okay all the shapes of these voids uh, actually depends upon the arrangement of the constituent particles that means the arrangement of the atoms or arrangement of the molecules or arrangement of the ions in the 3d picking structure okay. so the picking efficiency can be defined as the picking efficiency actually the percentage of the total space filled by the particles uh, in that uh, picking structure okay so, and mathematically actually we can define uh, the picking efficiency as you know the picking efficiency is actually picking efficiency efficiency is so this is the mathematical expression okay so basically we're going to uh, you know use this uh, equation to calculate the picking efficiency for different structures okay so picking efficiency is actually the volume volume of volume actually occupied occupied by the spheres or atoms okay spheres or you can say atoms that means the constituent particles okay number of that means the volume of the all the spheres which are present in that uh, you know that uh, picking stocks or that means the volume occupied by the spheres or the atoms present in that uh, picking structure or that unit cell okay divided by total volume total volume of the unit cell unit cell or the picking structure or the picking structure okay if we consider uh, you know here if we calculate the picking efficiency for a specific type of unit cell then we have to write here the volume occupied by the atoms which are inside that unit cell okay and we have to divide this volume by the total volume of the unit cell okay we can calculate the total volume of unit cell by using some you know mathematics or geometry okay and we because we are talking about efficiency okay so we actually express them in percentage so we have to multiply with um, by using 100 and here we have to write the percentage okay so this is the picking efficiency uh, definition uh, actually the definition of picking efficiency mathematically we can express the mathematically the picking efficiency by this equation okay so we're going to um, mainly use this equation or these relations to calculate the picking efficiency for different types of um, unit cells like you know uh, simple cubic unit cell, BCC, body centered cubic unit cell, FCC that means face centered cubic unit cell. Okay. So let us now discuss uh, one by one the or now calculate the picking efficiency of different unit cell one by one. Okay. At first we are going to calculate the picking efficiency in case of HCP and CCP structures. Okay. So basically the you know uh, the picking efficiency for HCP and CCP is actually equal. Okay, so you can say that the you know uh, you know the picking for these two structures are equally efficient. Okay, that means the picking efficiency are same. So now let us cal calculate the efficiency. That means the picking efficiency uh, for this type of uh, structure. Since we know that uh, the picking efficiency for the HCP and CCP are equal so uh, 
uh, we can use any one of this structure to calculate the picking efficiency okay but it is easy to calculate the picking efficiency uh, in case of ccp uh, we already know that uh, actually ccp structure is nothing but the fcc that means face centered cubic uh, unit cell okay so uh, actually we can use the geometries okay the law of geometries uh, easily in case of fcc that means ccp same no? uh, to calculate the picking efficiency that's why we uh, actually use the ccp structure to calculate the picking efficiency okay so now let us uh, take a uh, you know ccp that means fcc cubic unit cell okay so i am taking a figure from your book okay ncrt book which is actually the figure 1.2 okay which actually represent the fcc cubic unit cell okay so here already we know that in case of fcc total you know eight constituent particles or atoms or sphere are present in the corners eight corners of this uh, you know cube additionally there are total six face centered spheres you know in the in total six faces of this cube okay uh, so now we will going to only consider or only concentrate on the this phase you see a b c d okay we are going to only concentrate on this in this phase okay so here you see uh, here total you know uh, if you uh, you know see this uh, sphere so this sphere represent the constituent particles okay so at the uh, you know point capital a there will be a corner uh, this actually this sphere is the corner sphere okay and also the c capital uh, at the the sphere at the capital c is also the this sphere is also the corner sphere okay and in between this actually this sphere is uh, basically the face centered uh, sphere okay so th let us suppose the unit cell its length is keep it a small a okay so so uh, the let us let us suppose the okay the edge length is length of the unit cell unit cell is equal to small a okay that means this length okay the length of this edge so but we know that the cube in case of cube the all the edges are equal so all the edges are equal and uh, its value will be what a small a okay and let suppose the face the, the you know the length of the face diagonal which is actually represented by here it is this one okay ac the line ac okay is this line represent the face diagonal okay so suppose the length of the 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 length of the so the length of the face diagonal diagonal let suppose this is small b okay so if you only consider uh, this triangle so you see this is a, a triangle uh, a b c okay a b and c actually this is a right angle triangle that means one uh, angle is uh, actually 90 degree okay so the angle b is actually a b c angle a b c so actually the angle a b c is a right angle a right angle okay in that means right angle means the angle is that means 90 degree okay 90 degree in the triangle abc okay so we know that we can use uh, the pythagoras theorem okay if the, there will be a right angle triangle okay so we can use the that uh, pythagoras theorem and if you use that pythagoras theorem uh, in this uh, you know triangle in actually abc triangle then we know that the ac square that means the the length of the the actually square of the uh, length of the diagonal okay face diagonal is equal to the length of the bc square square of the bc plus square of the ab square so this is coming from the pythagoras theorem i think you all already know this theorem from in 
mathematic class. Now we know that here uh, AC, the AC represents what the phase diagonal, and we already, uh, you know, we already suppose that the length of the phase diagonal is B. So we can write here in place of AC, we can write B square. Okay, that means AC B, so it will be square. So here, in case of BC, we can write uh, because here you see BC is the edge. Okay, is so we know that the edge length of the unit cell is A, so it will be A square, and here also it will be A square. Understand? So that means from this one we can say B square. So this is what this is actually two A square. Okay, so two A square. So that means B is equal to root over two A. Okay. Now suppose let us uh, now suppose the the radius okay the radius of the sphere is smaller okay now suppose the radius radius of the sphere is sphere or atoms okay that means the constituent particle but here we consider the constituent particle as sphere okay so is smaller okay so if the radius of the sphere is small r then what would be the value of b from the center of this you know sphere to the to this point you see it would be uh, you know r the value will be r and here from here to here actually the value will be 2r and from here to here again r okay so that means r plus 2r plus r okay so that means the value of b is equal to r plus 2r plus r so it will be your total 3 plus 1 4 that means 4r okay so that means what we can say um, uh, again we know that b is equal to what root over 2a so it will be your root over 2a understand so in place of b we can write root over 2a understand so that means in place of uh, by using this relation that means we can say that root over 2a is equal to 4r okay so we can write here a is equal to uh, here we have to divide this 4 by root over 2 okay so it will be actually 2 root 2 r okay simple mathematics okay so this is the value so the, or we can write it r is equal to what r is equal to we have this a by 2 root over 2 same thing no? so we have this informations now so we can now calculate the taking efficiency by using the formula which the formula of the definition okay which is already you know given to you okay in the definition part so we can calculate the picking efficiency picking efficiency okay, is equal to the volume occupied occupied by uh, you know the spheres okay the spheres spheres present in that unit cell okay present in that unit cell into 100 percentage divided by total volume okay total volume of the unit cell unit cell so but here uh, here you see the volume occupied by the sphere we have to that means we have to find out the volume occupied by the volume uh, by the spheres and the total volume of the unit cell to calculate the percentage or that means the picking efficiency okay so from that information so from that information we can calculate the volume occupied by sphere so how many spheres are present in case of uh, fcc so we know that we know that the uh, in case of in case of FCC unit cell number of atoms or you can say here is sphere no? sphere present in that unit cell is equal to what 4 it is already calculated no? so that means 
here uh, total four spheres are present okay so that means volume occupied by the four spheres not uh, the space this, this should be your four spheres okay and uh, so we we can calculate the so how to calculate the volume of, of the sphere so we know that uh, the volume of the spheres so that means so the volume occupied by the four sphere okay four spheres is equal to what we know that the volume of a sphere is actually 4 by 3 pi r cube okay pi r cube but how many atoms are or space are present total 4 atoms are present so we have to multiply by 4 understand okay so this so this is the volume occupied by the four spheres okay so now okay, now let us calculate the total volume total volume of the unit cell the unit cell okay so the total volume of the unit cell will be what the total volume of the unit cell will be a cube in place of a we can uh, you know if we can just write uh, actually from that uh, uh, you know previous calculations so we can write here a is equal to 2 root over 2 r because a, a is equal to actually 2 root over 2 r okay but here cube now so we have to uh, actually cube this one understand so now we can just put this value here to calculate the um, packing efficiency okay thus the packing efficiency packing efficiency for FCC or you can say CCP and also and also for the HCP because HCP and CCP are same packing the packing efficiency are same we already know this one no? is is what is equal to in place of volume occupied by the four sphere it will be what four by three pi r cube into four okay divided by two root over two r cube understand so if you calculate uh, again here we miss that one hundred uh, percent we have to write it hundred percent okay so here it will be like uh, four into four what sixteen no? So 16 divided by 3 pi r cube, okay. 16 root over 2 r cube, okay, into 100%, okay. So if you calculate by using a calculator, then you will going to find the value is almost 74%, okay. So that means the picking efficiency that means the packing efficiency for the FCC unit cell or CCP that means cubic close packing structure or hexagonal close packing structure is 74% okay so that means 74% of that cube is occupied by the you know the sphere and the remaining part will be vacant part that means the empty part okay understand in the next class we will Calculate the picking efficiencies of the remaining unit cells.